Cattle play a big part of our lives. When we see our families, it's at a cattle show. When we vacation, it's at a cattle show. When we get together, we go do chores, we do those things. You know, that's just, that's our life, and it always has been. We have five children, and now we have almost seven grandchildren, and they've all been involved with the farm. The farm began probably generations ago. I grew up here, right around here. As a young child, I was bottle feeding baby calves, baby lambs, helping with baby pigs, and so I grew up within this. Cimarron did not grow up within the beef industry. Um, he grew up in Bundaline, Illinois, which is up in Lake County, north of Chicago. So when Cimarron was a child, they moved out of town a mile or two onto just a little five acre with a farmhouse and they had chickens and ducks and geese. Across the road was Wirtz Farm. Arnie Wirtz is the owner or was the owner of the Chicago Blackhawks and he had a purebred Yorkshire farm. So Cimarron just would go over and just help out, just have something to do and you know loved animals, loved livestock. So he became very, very involved. That's how Cimarron and I met, was at the Illinois State Fair. At the time, he was with a ranch from Oklahoma, and they needed help on show day. So a mutual friend said to him, well, hey, I, I know somebody who can come help us. So that's how I met him, and um, you know, eventually we married. I guess our motto is start him young. You know, our kids started real young, uh, the grandchildren are starting young, and, and it just is a great way to raise a family. By comparison, I mean, I guess I really wouldn't know what it wouldn't be like to grow up on a cattle farm because, I mean, that's, I mean, that's all I've ever known. You know, whether it was taking care of cows and calves or, you know, AI and heifers or, you know, interacting with the people that we were going to be interacting with, whether it's going to shows or whatever. I mean, everything about it, it's, it's definitely who I am. You know, every part of me is influenced by it, I guess you'd say. They're just very passionate about raising cattle. It's not all the banners and the purple. I remember the first time that we won our class at the National Junior Angus Show. The support of the kids, you would think that we had won the whole show, but they were very excited because they each developed their own role within getting cattle ready, doing different things. So everybody just had their own little niche, but they all worked together. Any function we go to around the state, you know, one of the first questions, you know, once they figure out our last name is, well, are you Sim Frost's kid? I mean, the Beef Expo to the Ribeye Corral, and, and there was plenty of other projects that he was involved with with the Beef Association, and I mean, he definitely left his mark on bones. Through it all, I just felt like it is, it, it was Cimarron who had done so much for the association, and all the while still being a producer. He gained the confidence of the producers. He brought people to the association to see how good the association is good for the whole industry. He worked tirelessly and made sure everything was right. And I think it meant something to the people because it was a down-to-earth approach to what the Beef Association was trying to do for them. And at the same time then, he could put on a coat and tie and go to Washington, D.C. and speak with legislators, our representatives, he could go to the state legislature. And I think people saw him as a genuine person who was knowledgeable, who would just tell it to you straight. You know, it can be difficult at times, you know, working with your family. But at the end of the day, you know, to actually, you know, I guess build a legacy is, is kind of the most gratifying thing about it. I mean, me personally, I definitely can't help but, uh, you know, think of my son, Wyatt. I, I just think we're, we're probably just, we're an average farm family. We understand the struggles of mud. We understand the struggles of, you know, COVID shutdowns. And we're very honored that some people saw that maybe we exemplify what many families face within the industry. When you are working with your family, a lot of days you get to be working with your best friends, so, I mean, Nothing to be any more fun. <laughs>